Hey everyone, I'll be covering all of the Nintendo Switch's game announcements for the fourth and final week of September, so let's get started. Bandai Namco is bringing My Hero 1's Justice 2 to the Switch next year. Fans can expect many more characters this time around, with the addition of representatives from the fourth season of the anime. While combat looks to be revamped from the original game and tweaked for a more faster, fluid experience. Lead the Colonial Fleet through a turn-based strategic campaign and fight exciting intense 3D tactical battles against the Cylons and Battlestar Galactica Deadlock. Command your fleet and watch the explosive results play out and multiplayer options are also included. Explore devastated environments based on real-life locations, hunt other animals to feed your cubs and bring them to safe areas where no harm can come to them in Endling Extinction, a 3D side-scrolling action-adventure game set to release in 2021. Mixing action platforming mechanics with color matching gameplay, Skyball Zack has tight controls for your rocket punch, dash, focus, charge, and change directions at a moment's notice to keep the combo going, including 48 frantic challenging levels that can be completed without ever stepping foot on the ground. Woven is a unique adventure game with platforming and point-and-click adventure elements, where you'll explore a woolen world full of stuffed animals where nothing is as it seems, solve puzzles, find hidden secrets, and swap between two protagonists at any given time. Big Drunk Satanic Massacre is a satirical action RPG where you play a Satan's son as he battles the humans who are trying to take over hell. Use a wide variety of weapons to stop their advances and save the demons from this gross invasion. Revealed on Dengeki Online, Void Terrarium is a mystery dungeon-esque roguelike where civilization has been gone for several hundred years and you play as a girl and the last human alive in this ruined collapsing world with her robot helper. Help Will Come Tomorrow is a survival strategy game based on your characters creating the story. Meet their needs, gather resources, expand the camp, take care of security, and explore your surroundings. But the most important thing is managing your survivors' relationships between each other if you want to see the finish. The post-apocalyptic action role-playing game Death Trash is influenced by cyberpunk horror and science fiction. Use real-time combat, stealth, item crafting, conversation choices, and explore the relentless world out for your death. The top-down pixel art game Sword of the Necromancer lets you play as a heroine fighting to revive her loved one with the power of the dark arts. The developers have indicated that they're hoping to use the right Joy-Con IR camera for in-game uses. Rabbi Ribby is a 2D pixel art side-scroller that lets you follow the adventures of Erina, whose life has been turned upside down when she finds herself in an unknown world. Focus on exploration as you got her through this whimsical world in over 9 areas with up to 40 boss battles. Reventure is a classic quest with loads of humor and over 100 different endings. Search every nook and cranny since it's bound to have one or two hidden secrets just waiting to be discovered. Soul Slayer is a visual novel told in several parts. The first one was shadow dropped in the Japanese eShop on the 25th, focusing on the early days as the wedding looms. The new Toho project Puzzler, Marissa and Alice's Strap Tower is released on October 4th. The two visit the Grand Library of the Scarlet Devil Mansion to borrow a book, only to find out that it's a trap tower they must now escape from. Home Sheep Home Farmageddon Party Edition is a compelling puzzle platformer where you journey through the underground caverns or busy streets in London, overcome challenging puzzles or tackle many of its available minigames. And that's all the game announcements we'll be covering this week. I apologize for my voice, I've been a little under the weather and I'm hoping to heal up for next week. So with all that said, as per always, thank you guys so much for watching. I truly appreciate the support and be sure to leave a like and subscribe and hit the bell to receive notifications when the videos go up. See ya!